Mercedes is approaching the Jetta GP with a positive outlook, despite facing challenges during the initial race of the season in Bahrain. The team encountered issues related to engine cooling and battery regeneration, but the good news is that these problems are not insurmountable. Contrary to their performance in recent years, recent statements from Wolf and Russell suggest that Mercedes could be a strong contender in the upcoming race. However, they face tough competition from Ferrari and McLaren. The question arises, can Mercedes surpass their rivals by addressing their technical issues? The team acknowledges the formidable challenge posed by Red Bull, especially considering Verstappen's dominance in the first race. Nevertheless, Wolf and his team are determined to give their best effort, aiming to establish a solid foundation for the rest of the season. Mercedes aims to demonstrate that they hold the momentum against Ferrari, introducing several upgrades in Jetta. A key improvement is evident in the updated front wing, essential for the low downforce requirements of the Jetta track. Additionally, a new low downforce rear wing has been introduced to enhance rear airflow, ensuring better interaction with the front airflow. These upgrades are crucial for improved performance on the track that debuted in 2021. The front wing upgrade offers hope for Mercedes, as the issues faced in Bahrain, particularly related to engine cooling, are believed to be rectifiable. Engine temperature proved to be a significant concern during the Bahrain race, causing a loss of around 5 tenths per second. Despite challenges, the team remains optimistic that the upcoming race in Jeddah will showcase their ability to overcome these hurdles and compete at a higher level. The challenge persisted throughout the race, proving difficult to rectify promptly. The origin of the issue stemmed from a decision made by Mercedes before both the qualifying phase and the actual race. Specifically, the team chose an alternate engine cooling specification, opting to close the engine cover shutters during qualifying after having opened them during practice. This adjustment enhanced the car's aerodynamic performance but came with repercussions, notably impacting energy regeneration and engine cooling. Unfortunately, Mercedes underestimated the severity of the consequences, especially considering the drastic overnight temperature drop in Bahrain. Looking ahead to Jeddah, there's optimism that the problem can be addressed. Mercedes appears to have gleaned valuable lessons from the Bahrain race, where the misstep cost them a podium finish and hindered Lewis Hamilton's competitive edge. With the team's commitment to rectifying these issues, a double podium finish in Jeddah seems plausible. Acknowledging the competitiveness in the field, exemplified by Leclerc's overtaking of Russell in the Brain GP, it's crucial to note that such maneuvers were influenced by the technical problems faced by Russell and the battery regeneration issues encountered by Hamilton. Therefore, Mercedes is banking on a more competitive weekend in Jeddah if they can effectively address these challenges. Even Toto Wolff admitted that Mercedes failed to showcase its true potential in Bahrain. He expressed confidence that Jetta would provide a clearer assessment of their standing, given the ongoing learning curve with their new car specifications. Delving deeper into the cooling issues and their impact on tire performance, Wolf conceded that Mercedes lagged behind Red Bull and Max Verstappen, emphasizing the need for self-reflection and corrective measures to avoid a recurrence of performance losses. The cooling lever miscalculation forced the team into a cycle of lifting and coasting to manage power unit temperatures during the race. We encountered challenges during the previous race due to over-tightening, primarily affecting our pace. It was an unusual situation facing cooling issues on a night track in the desert where temperatures dropped significantly. Addressing this concern before the upcoming race in Jeddah is crucial for Mercedes to avoid a recurrence of unfavorable outcomes for the Silver Arrows. The exact time impact caused by the cooling issue remains uncertain. Initial reports suggested a loss of around 2 tenths per second, later increasing to 4, and ultimately speculating that Russell could have been 7 tenths faster per second without these issues. The actual impact also hinges on factors like tire degradation and the need for a lift and coast strategy applied by Mercedes throughout the race. Despite the setback, fixing the car is manageable, as Mercedes is actively learning from their new design and untested specifications from previous seasons. Toto Wolff expressed disappointment with the Bahrain race, attributing the cooling problems to reduced tire temperatures, hindering the team from showcasing their true potential. Looking ahead to Jeddah, Wolff anticipates a chance for improvement, emphasizing the high-speed nature of the track. He acknowledges the frustrating start to the season but highlights the learning opportunity. Unlike the Bahrain race, Jeddah's characteristics offer the team a better chance to pursue enhanced performance and results, aligning with the goals set by rivals at Ferrari. 
Wolf elaborates on the team's expectations for Jetta, expressing the desire for a more consistent weekend and a better understanding of their performance relative to the rest of the grid. While the goal is progress, he acknowledges the vast gap between Mercedes and Verstappen, emphasizing a more realistic improvement rather than an immediate contention for race wins. The performance of Perez in the previous race challenges preconceived notions about the Mexican driver, suggesting a potential shift in the competitive landscape for the 2024 season. This places Mercedes in a confrontation with Ferrari, aiming to establish supremacy in the current and forthcoming seasons. The implications for the team's future operations are significant, as they seem compelled to conceal a wealth of knowledge from the seven-time world champion. The insights gained at Mercedes could seamlessly transition to Marinello, posing a potential threat to the Silver Arrows. The team finds itself treading cautiously, as recent statements from both Russell and Hamilton highlight lingering disagreements within the Mercedes driver lineup. The debate revolves around whether the car's setup substantially influenced Russell's P3 qualification and Hamilton's descent to P9. Hamilton's somewhat disheartening comments suggesting that the team could have performed better is open to two interpretations. Firstly, it implies that Mercedes plans to unveil improved iterations in Jetta. Secondly, it raises the possibility that the Silver Arrows may not have fully grasped all issues related to the W15. Hamilton further remarked on the less-than-ideal situation in Bahrain, expressing disappointment at not achieving the expected proximity to competitors. Russell, in contrast, expresses optimism regarding the W15, believing the team now possesses a superior car and a more robust foundation. This optimism is validated by his P3 qualification and subsequent rise to P2 before engine cooling issues disrupted his race. While Mercedes may comprehend the problem, a fix does not guarantee an automatic resolution. It could introduce unforeseen complications, potentially affecting the car's aerodynamic performance. Fortunately for Mercedes, Jetta demands a low downforce setup, a sacrifice they should be willing to make regardless of the ultimate race outcome. Given these considerations, the question arises, can Mercedes surpass Ferrari and Jetta? Share your thoughts in the comments below.